the safety, health, and well-being of our players, coaches, fans, everyone involved in our game is paramount. And that based on the reports, we are not in a position to make any decisions and it's unclear when we will be. When you're dealing with human life, I mean, that, that trumps anything else we could possibly be talking about. Everything is on the table. I mean, it's clear that if we were to resume play, we're looking at going significantly later than June, which is you know, historically when our season and draft would have been completed. My sense of, of the NBA team owners is that if they can be part of a movement to restart our economy, they almost see that as a civ civic obligation. I think, though, on the other hand, there, there is no appetite um, to compromise the well-being of our players. It frustrates me that I'm not able to say, and if we do A, B, and C, therefore, um, we can jump the ball. But we just, as I've said, don't have enough information to do that. Rachel Nichols was on that conference call with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver, and she joins us now here on SportsCenter. So, Rachel, we hear multiple scenarios seemingly every day. Help us decipher what is fantasy and what might be reality. Could the NBA, in fact, take over one city and play out the entire NBA postseason tournament, if you will, in that same place? Yeah, I'm not sure it would be an entire city takeover. Some of the proposals have been like a hotel complex in Las Vegas, where, as you know, Steve, they have arenas where they have fights and shows, and you could actually convert that to a gym and then put all the players in the adjoining hotels. There's been talk about college campuses, things like that. But the NBA and Adam Silver made it clear today that while they have been presented with bubble city scenarios, he said, we're so far from being down the road on engaging in any of those, because as you heard him say, the path of sort of if a, B, and C happen, then we get back. They don't even know what A, B, and C are. So it's great that we keep having these stories about these proposals, but until the science gets to a point where they would feel comfortable putting a bunch of people in an enclosed space together, even if they're in a quarantine space separated from the rest of the public, they're just not there yet. All right, Rachel, it was a few weeks ago we, uh, we threw out the NBA calendar as we know it, and now and this is a totally sobering thought. The NBA playoffs were the supposed to start tomorrow, Saturday. So uh, that's obviously long gone. So give me a, a reality check. What does a realistic calendar look like now for potentially starting, whether we're cleaning up some regular season games or starting right away with the postseason? Well, Adam made it clear today that no option is off the table, and that means playing maybe even in August and September, and he said that they would be open to starting next season late, and that has been one of the questions. Is there a point of no return where this season, where you would just pass it to have to start next season? And he has said the ownership from different teams has made this clear. If they can restart the season, Adam said that this is something that they see as their civic responsibility to do, and that they see themselves as a leader in helping the country get back going so no matter what the economics are no matter how far in the calendar they have to push it he said there is a willingness on the part of the owners to get that season in in some way or some form crown a champion this year and maybe even start next season at Christmas time or something like that but again the caveat that he kept saying and you've heard him say it is it has to be in a way that the health and safety of their players and staff comes first so we all continue to wait in essence and we will wait to see you again Rachel on on the jump on Monday, every weekday, 3 and 4.30 p.m. Eastern, two for the price of one. That's uh, Rachel Nichols doing her fine work. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.